Josh, a, a big Betfred Challenge Cup tie on the horizon against Ole. A, a, a competition that for clubs like yourselves you must really hold close to your hearts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, last year was brilliant for us. We, we got to play Bradford at odds. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of boys who, who grew up being Bradford fans and um, it's what dreams are made of really for them. So uh, obviously we, we've got Oral this week and we can't, can't look past them. But, but uh, you know, after that, it'd be great to get another you know, eye-opening sort of tie for the third round. Yeah, it is a, a real kind of tasty carrot, isn't it, on the string when you've got third round professional championship and League One clubs into it. What have you been kind of telling your players in the build-up to this, just to, to keep the feet on the ground? Well, we, um, we we've got a few few changes to our team this year. We've uh, we've had a few boys retire. Um, we've got a couple of younger lads coming through. Um, so I'm I'm just telling them to enjoy it. Uh, I know people are saying obviously we we will be the favourites based on our league position compared to our roles, but you know, it's our first hit out of the year. Um, we. We're probably a bit underdone, you know. We're not, we're not ready to play for another month or so. Um, but you know, I just want them to enjoy themselves, to express themselves if they can, and uh, you know, hopefully, well, first and foremost, just work hard. Really, that's all I ever ask for my boys: just work hard. And, and if we, if we can get into that for the third round, that, that's a bonus for us. Is that kind of a, a big part of this challenge at the weekend? Playing an oral team that, albeit a couple of leagues below, uh, have had a very competitive hit out against Hairs Finch in the first round. Yeah, that, that that will be a challenge for us, and um, I think um, Oral are a very good team. I um, didn't know a right lot about them um, uh, until the, the draw, and then I started doing a bit of research on them, and I, I knew a bit more about Hares Finch because of their uh, Battle Cup final last year. Um, but you know, looking through Oral's list, they've got some really good lads, and uh, obviously listening to the commentary, um, uh, Kyle Amor certainly knew a fair few of them from his days at St Helens. So, you know, they've, they've definitely got boys who've been in higher leagues, and you know, they may may only be choosing to play in a regional league because of work or they don't want to travel. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think they know. They know numpties, if if that makes sense, and I, I think they'll be a pretty good team. So. You're travelling to their place, of course. They'll, they'll have another good crowd, on like they did against Hairs Finch. Does, does that make it a bit trickier as well, having to go there and, and play them on their patch? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it'll be two and a half hours for us on bus, and um, we know we, we're pretty good at home. And, and sometimes playing away, we can we can be quite poor. So um, we want to start the season in the right way. Um, but the, the boys will have to rise to the occasion and. Uh, you know what better to do it on a you know Sunday afternoon on TV and in, in a bit of a bear pit where nobody really likes you. So yeah. And you mentioned obviously it's been streamed live on the Sportsman. Does the the cameras being on add a bit of extra excitement? Have the boys spoken about that at all? Yeah, yeah. Nathamo's spending all week on some beds and getting his hair cut Saturday morning. So, um, but yeah, I mean it, it always adds a bit of spice, doesn't it? And. Um, Certainly, in the recent years, when we've been on TV or, or on the Sportsman, um, we played the Navy in the the third round. Um, we were awful, you know, and, and we we've got to put that right, you know, and, and sort of forget about the cameras and just be like, we're we're here to to do a job and try and get in the next round, really. Stood next to the, the Betfred Challenge Cup for for fans of the game, people involved in the game at any level, it, it's just an exciting competition, a really historic competition to be involved in, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean. Uh, once, once we finish recording, I'm going to go look for uh, for Featherstone's name on there, uh, I'm a Featherstone fan. So I'll be, I'll be looking for uh, for our three wins in Challenge Cup and see if I can take a picture and send it to me dad. So I'm not going to ask you to go into game plans and tactics and stuff like that, but I was just wondering if you could kind of run us through some of the key members of your squad and some of the people to look out for on Sportsman. Yeah, um, we, we've got some good spine men. Um, uh, Alfie Crawford's our nine. Uh, it's got blonde hair, he stands out like sore thumb, but he's, he's lightning fast and um, he'll, he'll be looking to get out quite a lot. Um, Matt Chilton, uh, who will be our fullback, um, you know, both both have spent a bit of time with York uh, um, York Knights, so you know they're they're good. And, um, you know, Matt's Matt's the, like the rudder for our team, really. He dictates where we go, and um, and then uh, you know, I've got I've got some real good. Good young forwards, uh, Toby Woodall, Eddie Prescott. Like, um, expecting big seasons from them. So, be nice. To, they've got a bit more of a senior role with, with some of the lads that have moved on. Um, and you know, I, I want to see something from them this weekend. And I think I will with the way they've been going in training. So, just one more thing I wanted to touch on. Obviously, 
your, your neighbours of Friends of York Knights are a, or, and the Valkyrie as a club, mm -hmm. really ambitious, really doing good things in the Championship and Women's Super League respectively. What's the relationship like between the two clubs? Yeah, it's really good. Um, we, um, uh, obviously, Alfie spent most of pre-season with the Knights. Um, we uh, we have a couple of lads involved with the, the Valkyrie at, at, op at the open age in the 19s that used to be my assistants. And so our, our links between the clubs are good at the moment. Um, we've got a couple of real good kids coming through, sort of 14s, 15s, 16s. And you know, I think I think that bond will only get better with York. And we're, we're looking at doing a bit of opposed work against each other in the coming weeks. So um, you know, if we can help them and. You know, sort of ride on their coattails a little bit. It's, it's got to be good for the city, I think. So, well, thanks for your time, mate. Best no. of luck next week. Cheers. Thank you very much.